I'm fucking laying in bed with my black light on over there and I'm just staring at the ceiling and I thought to myself a number of things for example <laughs> World War 3 is about to break out there was a nice flirtation with it before the coronavirus seeped into the united fuckery of dipshitting crockery so I I thought about some things if I see Chinese troops that are smiling I'll know that they're north province of China and if I see Chinese troops that aren't smiling but have neutral expressions I'll know that they're southern province Ch Chinese what's the fucking difference you say well the eight drunken gods so one of them I'll be able to get drunk with and have a fucking good time <laughs> and, and the other I probably won't manage to get drunk with and have a good time <laughs> if the Russian army shows up <laughs> then I'll know that all of them are carrying a minimum of four standard vodka rations. And we'll get drunk and have a good time. <laughs> if the Swedish army shows up, I will generally be confused and wonder what the fuck is up. Did Ikea get shut down or something? Are they here for meatballs? What the fuck? Are they here to teach us about army knives? <laughs> like televangelists? <laughs> I would generally be confused if the Swedish army shows up. Um, let's see, there's some others I thought of. Uh, Chinese, Russian, uh, Swiss... Oh, fuck's sake. They just kept getting funnier and funnier. <laughs> if, if an Italian army shows up, then I will know that the first thing that they want to do is burn down both Pizza Hut and Domino's at the same time for the atrocity that they have committed against Italian cuisine. <laughs> Next, they'll want to go and burn down Olive Garden and take all the wine with them. <laughs> and we'll get drunk and have a good time making real pastas and pies. <laughs> if a German army shows up, well, then... I'll just put on some Rammstein and hope that they brought some lager with them. We'll all get drunk and have a good time. <laughs> if an Iraqi or an Afghanistan or a Yusuf Sai army shows up, I will think of something to tell them to to either make them go away or we'll all smoke some hash and have a good time. <laughs> uh, what else is there? Um... Ah, fuck. If a British or an English army shows up, I will, I will hope that it hits four o'clock on the dot soon afterwards so that we can all have a, a proper cupper and sit down and discuss things civilly instead of uh, bashing each other's brains out with the butt end of a rifle. And hopefully we can come to an agreement that we will have a good time.
And maybe, maybe they'll just want to listen to some Green Day while we're at it. I've got the album Bullet in the Bible with the DVD extras. Yeah, plus uh, one of my past acquaintances was uh, ex-Royal Armed Forces. In Her Majesty's Royal Armed Forces. Retired, of course. Uh, let's see, what else is there? If an angry American mob shows up, I live in a trailer, they will ignore me. <laughs> Because I'm not a rich fucking prick who's been extorting the commonplace American citizen. And we'll all have a good time ignoring each other. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, what else? What else? If U.S. armed forces show up, I'll simply turn off all the electronics and hope they think that the place is abandoned and wait until they leave and then I'll have a good time afterwards. <sighs> what else can I do? Uh, what other, what other nation, nations, national armies that if they show up can make a scenario for. <laughs> if a Hindu army shows up, I'll generally ask, what the actual fuck? I thought you guys were mostly pacifists. Wait, if a Indian army shows up from India, I'll, I'll also generally wonder, what the actual fuck? I thought you guys were pacifist and tech support scammers. <laughs> Man, maybe that'll stump them. Maybe that'll stump them just long enough to es escape. Whew. Or metaphorically, <laughs> escape from their line of sight. What other countries are there? Um. Shit. <laughs> I, I fucking ran out of ideas. I covered my, a good bit of the major ones. <laughs> Fuck! I'm out of ideas. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wait. I've got one. Some of my tribal bloodlines. If any of the native tribals show up, <laughs> I'll be like, What the fuck are you doing here? You don't have a fucking army. Are you just hoping to scavenge the leftovers after America kills itself? What the fuck? Eh, maybe we'll smoke some weed, get some fire water, and have a good time. <laughs> oh. I uh, can't do Inuit. Inuits are, what, North or South Pole? Like, how the fuck are they going to show up? That's just, that's not, that's not going to happen. That's not cricket. <sighs> oh, Africa. I forgot Africa. If a, if a Somalian pirate squad shows up, <laughs> I'll just, I'll just be like, 
What, what the fuck, man? I ain't got nothing. You see where the fuck I'm living? I mean, it's not a mud hut, but it's this country's equivalent to that. Even though mud huts are horribly outdated. Pretty much only the... You know, the aboriginal tribes still use them. Uncontacted tribes. They're, they're outdated. Or if, if Kenyan or any any uh, group of Africans show up from Africa, let me be absolutely clear about that. I'll just generally be like, what the actual fuck? I mean, it's pointless to get involved with the war. <laughs> What the actual fuck, Africa? Why get involved in, in, in a bunch of um, assholes bitch fest? But anyway, uh, all all those jokes aside, the most likely players to start are like uh, Iran, Saudi Arabia, uh, Afghanistan, Russia, and America. But first and foremost, America. Too many Americans are pointing the finger over at China and saying, oh, it's your fault. Uh, Kung flu this, Wuhan virus that. Too many Americans are pointing the finger economically over at Saudi Arabia, uh, Afghanistan, and Russia saying, too much fucking bullshit with the oil. Because America's the number one consumer of that stuff, and... Trump's tweet about the, the boats, uh, them attacking, uh, what is it, Afghan or Iran gunboats? That's because the, the Navy is guarding the fucking oil carriers out in the fucking ocean from all the people who have, well, been paid to take oil at $40, well, on the stock exchange, negative forty dollars a barrel, which means they're paying you to take it. Ugh. So they they ran out of storage. So all the oil tankers are carrying people's private fucking uh, wealth of oil, and if anyone goes off and attacks it, it'll be like Russia, fucking Saudi Arabia, uh, Iran, Afghanistan, or Somalian pirates. If Somalian pirates are still around at all. That's why Trump tweeted out about the gunboats. So those are the players that are going to start World War III. But mostly it's America. So anyway, this, uh, this move the, from Trump's tweet is nothing more than counting coup. That's a French terminology. It's basically like taking a stick running up to your enemy and poking them and then running back. It's a, um... It's a primitive means of testing your so-called opponent or enemy and seeing what they'll respond to and how they'll respond to it so you have a baseline for what you need to do in the event of, you know, conflict, battle, or war. So anyway, they're just counting coup right now, everybody. World War Three is inevitable. It's gonna happen. So, there's those steps that lead up to a fight. You know, like, uh, if you get into a fight at school, you know, a lot of uh, children are like, what's up, come at me. I'm not, fr I'm not fronting. Blah, blah, blah. This, that, and the other. Come at me, bro. You take the first shot. Come on. Yeah, that's counting coup between children. That's exactly what Trump's doing. He's just counting coup. It's a childish thing to do. Really is. Me, on the other hand, I really don't give a fuck. Because... 
if anyone shows up, like legitimately shows up for any reason, I don't give a fuck. If it's Russians, I'll say, hey, you got some spare vodka, let's get drunk and have a fucking good time. Whether that good time is, you know, watching dumb shit YouTube videos or DVDs or going off and fucking uh, actually fucking fighting each other. Or, you know, teaming up and going off and, and killing other fucking idiots. Just whatever the fuck happens. I don't care. I've got shit to lose. Literally, nothing. <clears throat> the fuck do I care? I've got nothing to lose. So if some other nation's army shows up at my door, I'll be like, wanna get drunk and have a good time? I don't have fuck for them to take. I don't have fuck to lose. What do I have to gain? What do I want to gain? Just to be left the fuck alone, really. If I have to socialize with some angry fucking army from another country that's invading America because World War III's breaking out, what the fuck ever? You know? Who the fuck cares? But the, the way things are going... The riots and the blockades that citizens are doing against their corrupt leadership in states and counties and whatnot in the United States here, that's not going to end well. That's going to end with a uh, civil war. So there's three ways that's going to go about world war, civil war, or both at the same time for America, but World War Three is happening. With or without the American Civil War, well, second, technically third Civil War, in the process. Your, your choice, asshats of America in charge, your fucking choice. I've tried to give you fucking advice in the past, you didn't fucking listen. You don't fucking care. It's all your cronyism, your, your whole fucking economy system. It's not capitalist, it's a cronyist. You and your cronies, your buddies, who you're friendly with, who you give a fuck about. Well, you should have been giving a fuck about everyone, because there's there's more people who are in my position who have able bodies and do give a fuck about inflicting damage on your physical body. There's far more of them people that you shit on than there is of you. You're outnumbered by a few million to one. All you bureaucrats and corporate level fucks in America, you're outnumbered millions to one. Don't forget that. You should have been sucking face and kissing ass with the commonplace citizen. But instead, you were fucking all of them over for your own personal gain and the gain of your friends in office. So... America's either going to have world war, civil war, or both at the same time. But the world war is going to happen. World War Three is going to happen. There's no doubt about that. Trump's got uh, gunships guarding the fucking oil tankers offshore. Counting coup with other nations. And they're probably not going to bother with a Twitter post. They're probably actually going to physically do something. Because... Fuck the American ideal of fronting, saying, bring it on, come at me, bro. Oh, I've got missiles, too. Shut the fuck up, North and South Korea. We've got missiles, too. Nobody gives a fuck. Americans, nobody gives a fuck about that. That's just, that's just being a fucking child. Spoilers. Even though it's not going to help anyone on this planet anymore because you're all about to fuck yourselves into oblivion. You don't run 
your so-called nations as a corporate entity, a business, or anything of that sort of nature. Because you started out as tribal families, and in the end you're going to die as a fucking family. Yeah, when you die and you're surrounded by your loved ones who are there at your, your deathbed, or you die alone, it's that fucking simple, humanity. Either you, you grow up and live and die as a family, or you grow up, live, and die alone. And well, it looks like you're all going to die alone. Because you certainly haven't been acting as a big family unit and coming together as a united front against something as simple as a virus outbreak that happens once every 100 years on this planet like fucking clockwork back to pack every 100 years it just you, you don't fucking learn from history you didn't come together you started playing the blame game pointing the finger and poking each other yet go fuck all of yourselves humanity not just you Americans all of you humanity fuck all of you you fucked up this is the last time you will ever fail. You, you get no more chances after this. <clears throat> and it says so. And all of those warnings that me and Satan and several others who've come from uh, other planets, other galaxies, other dimensions of existence. We've come here, we've warned you, hey, We've lived a long time. We see the pattern. If you follow these courses of action, they will lead to these outcomes. Back then, you called us fucking gods, angels, demons, prophets. Yeah. It, it, it's all the same bullshit, okay? We warned you. You didn't fucking listen. You, you chose to be ignorant with your normalcy bias and your self-righteous, arrogant, conceited pride. And this is the end. And now I'm here telling you, blatantly, plainly, honestly, I'm just going to watch you all fuck each other into oblivion. And I'm going to laugh the whole time. I'm, just, I'm laughing even as I watch uh, some YouTube news videos. I'm laughing my ass off. At just the sheer level of ignorance, stupidity, and naivety from all of humanity yeah fuck all of you I'm done helping I'm laughing at your stupidity now <laughs> so go ahead keep being fucking idiots I'm laughing at all of you holistically all of you the one individual on their own however that's a different story but all of you humanity, all of you holistically, you know, fuck off. <laughs>